Howdy champs, my name is Mohitin guys, today I'm going to show you how to make a neat, professional, uh, yet fancy looking uh, spy accordion panel. Have a look out here, I've already made one, okay, which has four sections. Now the best part is you can close all the four sections together. You see? Alright. So it's not mandatory that at least one window or one panel will be open at all times. Uh, you can actually close all the four panels together as, as you can actually see. And uh, the second good thing about uh, this accordion panel is that the uh, windows are not of a fixed height. You see this is section 1, this is section 2, almost of the same height. But when I click on the section 3, the height of the window of the panel is actually longer than section 1 and 2. Right? section 4 has a different height altogether so basically we are working with the windows of different heights and as I said uh, it's, it's not compulsory that you should have uh, all the uh, four panels of the same height that's pretty cool so let's see how this was actually done uh, let me launch uh, Adobe Dreamweaver CS6 okay uh, let me say file let me say new what I'm gonna do is gonna, I'm gonna show you how to uh, you know make the same thing all over again uh, let me go with the, the layout which is two column fix left sidebar okay I'm gonna keep the doc type to be X HTML one transitional okay and uh, uh, we'll ensure that the CSS is being added to the head of the document okay let me hit the create button okay I'm in the code view let me uh, go to the split view guys what I want to do is I want to make sure that my accordion actually uh, appears after this word clearing which is actually an h2 element okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go out here in the code you hit enter okay and then let me insert a div so div with an ID of let's say accordion I don't have the ID accordion ready okay which I'll uh, in a moment and then let me close the div off like this okay so between the opening and the closing uh, div tags which has an ID accordion the rules for which I'm uh, for for the ID accordion I'm yet to define. As I said, I'll I'll do so soon. But I, uh, I'll make sure that my cursor is blinking uh, between the opening and the closing div tags. Okay, and this is where I would want to insert my accordion. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say insert. Okay, see guys, usually what we do is we go to spry and then. Uh, out here we have the option to insert the spry accordion but this spry accordion will uh, take a lot of toll on your energy on your efforts you know and uh, it's actually uh, a little bit of hard work seriously and you won't come up with a very fancy yet professional looking uh, spry accordion if you really want to know the shortcut what you should do is you should be going to the widget out here okay and uh, once you go to the widget guys uh, you will see an option out here which says uh, it's a link which says uh, widget browser I would want to uh, launch the widget browser and use a ready-made uh, widget for my accordion that's a much better way of working as we'll soon see so I'm gonna uh, you know launch the widget browser it may, might take up some time and then the widget browser will get launched usually usually take some time okay guys uh, I you see um, when you are uh, when the widget browser is actually open okay you have two options out here one is Adobe Exchange which is uh, you know you click on Adobe Exchange the one on the left hand side so there are so many widgets available and these are my widgets basically I'll tell you the difference between my widgets and Adobe, Adobe Exchange Adobe Exchange is the collection of all the uh, widgets available and my widgets are the widgets that I've actually installed so basically you need to bring over uh, the widgets from Adobe uh, Exchange to my widgets. So what I'll do is I'll go back to Adobe Exchange. Guys, if you're not signed in with your Adobe ID and password, you will be prompted to do so. I'm already signed in. You see, I can only sign out now. But uh, you may not be signed in and you may be required to uh, log in with your Adobe ID and password. Uh, in case you don't have one, you'll need to register uh, at the Adobe's website okay now guys have a look out here we have a jquery ui accordion it's much better to use a, a jquery accordion rather than uh, go the dreamweaver way you know that's a longer way of working a little more tedious and the end result isn't so beautiful but i really like to work with this widget so jquery ui accordion by bogdan ozola okay i'm gonna click on that uh, once I click on that guys uh, after some time 
I'll, I'll get an option out here in the, the bottom right corner. There's a button which says add to my widgets. Okay. So let me click on that. There will be a widget license that I'll need to accept, which I'm going to do so now. Okay. And uh, now this widget has been added to my widgets. It's been brought over from the uh, Adobe Exchange onto my widgets. So there's a button which says go to my widgets. Let me click on that. Okay, now guys, uh, the jQuery UI accordion by Bogdan Bazol actually appears, version 1.8.1 actually appears uh, under my widget. So, uh, you know, th there were so many widgets that had previously added, and now the jQuery UI accordion has been added to the list as well. Okay, now I'll tell you how to proceed from here. So, what I'm going to do is let me click on this widget. Okay, guys, have a look out here that we have so many uh, developer presets available. See, right now it's been set to default. This is how the default accordion looks like. Okay, uh, let's see how base looks like. It's, it's taking a little uh, longer to update. Uh, let me try something else. Let me try the uh, elephant. Okay this is the way uh, the elephant uh, preset looks let me try the flick this is flick this is uh, hot sneaks okay this guys is mint chocolate pretty darkish okay but my favorite my personal favorite is uh, pepper grinder i really like the cool colors okay so what I'm going to do is I've decided that I'm going to go with this preset which is pepper grinder but I'm going to make certain modifications to it I'm going to make sure that I configure it further and how can I do that once I select pepper grinder guys what I can do is I can click on this configure button out here at the bottom okay now uh, there are certain options out here on the left hand side uh, as you see right now the accordion panels open when I actually click on them okay uh, there's another option which is mouse over but I'm happy with the click so I'm okay with that see now when you keep this option auto height on it clearly says if set the highest content part is used the height reference for all the other parts okay I don't want that I don't want that at all uh, I'm gonna set it off okay uh, but there's another option which says uh, collapse content whether all sections can be closed at once yes i would want all the sections to be closed at once if i actually want it so i'm going to set it on okay so basically what i've done is i've, I've made two changes through the uh, configure button so i've configured the um, accordion further okay now uh, since i've actually made my own preset i can give it my own name and then i can save the preset uh, you see the a pepper grinder one has been uh, has been the name selected uh, automatically by the adobe widget browser for me which is which is just fine okay in the description i can write uh, uh, collapse content is set on so all panels can be close to Together, right so you can just put any description if you really want that is it's not mandatory at all what is mandatory is the name which uh, uh, Adobe widget browser has actually selected for me and I'm pretty happy with the name pepper grinder one okay and then I'm gonna say save preset right okay I'm gonna show you how to actually um, insert this uh, jQuery uh, UI accordion in inside Dreamweaver, so let me go back to Dreamweaver. Okay, guys, have a look out here. The uh, cursor is blinking in the opening and the closing div tags with an ID accordion, right? So, what I'm gonna do is next, I'm, I'm gonna say insert, I'm gonna go down to uh, widget, okay? And uh, you see, there are so many uh, widgets that have been installed that have been added, okay? So, I'm gonna choose jQuery UI accordion CDN 1.8.1 okay and then when it comes to the preset i'm gonna go with the pepper grinder one that was the one that i actually used uh, that I actually saved as a my own preset okay so 
with my own uh, customizations I'm gonna say okay and uh, it's actually been inserted guys so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give it a title and save the document I'm gonna say accordion out here and then let me say file and a save okay so accordion pepper grinder one you guys choose a different name obviously okay and then guys uh, let me show you a preview let's say in chrome let's see how it actually looks okay so there's your uh, there's your uh, accordion guys okay uh, as you can see that uh, it has four sections and I can close all the sections together but there's one thing that I really don't uh, like about this uh, accordion which is the font size is uh, too big and it's flushing the area from left to the right let's see how we can actually tackle that not only that guys we'll also see uh, how we can actually increase or decrease the number of sections of the panels all right so right now we have four panels what if i would want to have uh, an extra panel out here what can i actually do uh, to do you know to make the change so what i'll do is i'll head back to uh Jing Viva. okay guys uh, if you remember i'd actually dropped in uh, a div with an id accordion let me show it to you once again just give me a minute okay let me be in the code view for some time okay have a look out here after the element h2 uh, we had actually dropped in uh, a division with an id accordion let me select that okay let me select that and let me hit this uh, new css rule button okay the moment i do that guys uh, the selector type has automatically been set to a compound basically Dreamweaver understands that I wish to create a, a compound rule and uh, what is being targeted is the ID accordion which is inside content which is inside container right now where do the uh, content in the container come from basically that's the template that's the dream dream weaver template okay so we had a box called container which had another box called content inside which we created a div with an id accordion which so which is uh, perfectly all right okay so uh, the rules are getting saved inside uh, the head of the document itself which is just fine so let me say okay all right and let me start uh, defining the rule the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure that the font size is a lot smaller set to let's say 12 pixels that's the first thing I would want to do all right and uh, let's go to the box category and then let me give it a margin of 10 pixels all around to create some space all around some cushion all around let me say okay and uh, let's see how this has actually made a difference to uh, the things so let me take another preview in Google Chrome let me say yes and guys uh, it's a lot more professional a lot better than what it used to look a little while ago so you can see that the font size has been decreased okay right also you can see that uh, all the windows are not of the fixed size so they have flexible uh, in the pan all the four panels have a different size you know and also there's a cushion of 10 pixels all around okay uh, which also looks pretty neat okay and all the panels can be closed simultaneously that's that's because of the preset that we had defined which is very cool okay uh, now the the last thing that uh, needs to be uh, done is let's say I would want to add another panel or another section okay let's see how we can actually do that so let me uh, go back to Dreamweaver okay and uh, then guys uh, I'm in the code view right now let me scroll down okay so have a look out here this is where the accordion actually starts in line number 157 okay and uh, see every time a section starts we have an h3 element then we have a div okay and it goes up till here so what I can do is uh, I can you know using just a little bit of my common sense I can make out that one panel is actually formed by an h3 element an opening div tag a closing div tag 
and uh, some text in between which is encapsulated by the paragraph tag so my common sense tells me that it is uh, you know I can just copy this much and I can just paste it and hence I can actually add another panel so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this bit I'm gonna go down uh, let's locate section 4 this is section 4 okay so the div closes out here so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go down out here so this is the h3 uh, element this is the opening div tag and this is the closing div tag inside which we have the paragraph tag so I'm gonna come out here where we have line 194 I'm gonna hit enter I'm gonna paste whatever I I'll actually copied okay now and uh, then I'm gonna make sure that section 1 uh, is actually section 5 right so let me say section 5 out here okay so again what I've done is I've I've copied the h3 uh, element with the opening and the closing div tags which has the uh, opening and the closing p tag so basically it should give me yet another panel let me be sure so let me go back to uh, Google Chrome let me save the changes up okay and I was absolutely alright guys I've actually uh, managed to add another section out here as you can actually see okay so guys uh, you see how easy it is to add uh, another section and uh, it's a pretty uh, it's a lot of common sense that if you can add uh, by copying something you can actually delete it and you can actually remove one uh, section or one panel okay you, you you saw that how I actually use the margins and the font size so guys uh, you can see how easy it is to create a fancy looking uh, yet professional looking strike audience panel so guys i hope you like this uh, tutorial enjoyed it and i hope to see you very soon uh, with yet another dream beaver tutorial you have a good day guys bye bye peace